Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another video. Poncho Kings here. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to become a pro scripter or maybe just how to start scripting if you are interested in 2020. And I'm gonna give you a couple of tips, but first go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you haven't already, go ahead and like the video and let's get right into it. Okay, so first thing you gotta know, there is no shortcuts for streaming. A lot of people think you can do it fast, just like any other thing, just like making exercise and thinking you're gonna be buffed in less than six months or something like that. They are lying to you, it's not possible. It's the same with scripting. It's gonna take time. I'll give you my example. Uh, I, I joined Roblox in 2009. Um, I probably wrote my first line of code in 2013, like around uh, three years later and everything i did was totally trash it was it was really bad i was starting to learn and i tried a lot of different things and it didn't work so you better know at the beginning what you do it's gonna be bad it's gonna take a lot of time um you're not gonna be good uh your first month even maybe your first year uh it's gonna take you a couple of time to get better and you gotta be very patient however there is a couple of things i wish i would have known when i started scripting and that is that there is tools in the internet that can help you get better faster than it probably took me. For example, you have YouTube videos. Uh, there is a lot of information in YouTube. There is a lot of people doing tutorials about every everything you want to learn, everything you want to know. There is a lot, a lot of things you can you can search for practically anything, and there's probably someone that has done a video about it. If you don't like YouTube videos, then you have the Roblox Wiki. The Roblox Wiki has a lot of information, a lot of things uh, people have already asked, people have already made. And probably if you're wondering how to do something, it's gonna be there. If you want to know how to do something as specific and you don't like videos, you, you'd rather read text and find the way to do it uh, with a page telling you um, on text. Well, probably the Roblox Wiki for you. If you don't like any of those, there's tr still the traditional way which is the free models way. Uh, you can go ahead and look for any free model you want in the Roblox toolbox in the Roblox studio. Uh, you probably can't find what you're looking for. Uh, you can take a model, you can change it a little bit, see how it affects the scripts, uh, try to understand how it works. Practically this way you can slowly start learning how everything works, how certain lines of code may make certain model work this way or this other way or you can see YouTube videos and you can also change it a little bit to to make stuff they are doing in the videos work differently for specifically for your game and well yes you can do different stuff depending on what you want okay another thing you guys should know is you should be doing something you are sure you're gonna finish I'm sorry to break it to you guys, but you are not going to make Adopt Me in a day. You're gonna not going to make Bloxburg. You're not going to make Arsenal. You're not going to make any of those games at the beginning because those are really complex games. Those are uh, composed of really big teams at this point. I mean, they start small too, but at this point they are really big teams and they are really complex and you should be starting with something small. Maybe think of something like an OB for example, something with 10 levels, something you know you can finish and something that can make your abilities as a scripter better uh, starting from small places. You gotta, you gotta make something you are sure you're gonna finish because if not you're gonna get demotivated fast and maybe you will never complete your dream of becoming a successful developer. Another thing you guys should know is that you are gonna fail. That's right, you are gonna fail. And no, I don't mean you're gonna fail like on your career of trying to become a scripter. That's not true. Uh, that really depends on you. What I mean is that when you start scripting, everyone thinks it's a straight line. Everyone thinks, oh, you start scripting and then you just become a professional scripter. No, that's not right. You're gonna, you're gonna get bumped a lot in the process. It's gonna be hard. You're gonna wanna quit, but you gotta be strong and you gotta keep going. Also, in the world of scripting, everybody has a different way of working. So you gotta find your way. For example, my way, I like working as a solo developer. I like doing things myself. I like to program, I like to build, I like to do the, the UI, I like to do everything. So that's my way of working, but everybody has different ways. Maybe maybe you only like programming, so you like, you maybe need a team in order to work and to be motivated. So 
So yes, you pretty much have to find your best way of working. You gotta take breaks. You gotta you gotta use the times where you feel better to program in order to make the most out of it. And yes, you gotta you gotta be you gotta try to motivate yourself. You gotta do the best out of the time you use in order to program so you can feel better and so you can make the most out of it. And another last thing you should understand, big developers started small too. I know you see them right now and they seem to make incredible things, to make things that you, you feel you will never be able to know, but they didn't start like that. Big developers start small too. They start just like you and just like me. So if you in the future want to become a really big successful Roblox developer, you can do it. You just have to be really, really constant with your work. You gotta be really responsible. You gotta be really intelligent at the time of working. So uh, remember, it's a long process. So you gotta, you gotta be passionate. You gotta be original. You gotta have fun in the process. You gotta keep yourself motivated. Remember, you gotta have fun. You gotta be happy with what you are doing. If you ever wanna become a successful developer, it's gonna take you time. So it's better to just enjoy the process. All right, guys, so that's gonna be it for today's video. Remember, if you have a dream, go for it. You can do it. You just gotta be constant. You gotta follow your dreams and you gotta be intelligent. It's all here. So thank you so much for watching the video. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't. And yes, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Ooh.